I remember September of 2008. When we met with uh, Hank Paulson, the Secretary of Treasury, all the leadership was around the table. Good evening. I'm very pleased to welcome the Democratic and Republican leadership of the House and Senate. As well and they told us we're going to need $700 billion. Seven hundred billion dollars? That's it. We've never we've never voted for a bill seven hundred billion dollars. Uh, of course, we voted for it. It kept us from going into a depression. It was the right thing to do. Uh, and very frankly, it was a Republican president asking for it, and it was two thirds of Democrats uh, that passed it. It would not have passed without Democrats saying, "If this is necessary for our country, we'll do it." And then, of course, fast forward. None of us would have ever perceived, when we were elected, uh, voting for some $1.9 trillion. Forget about $700 billion. But the challenge, uh, the danger, uh, the consequences to our Americans' health and to our economy were such that this was warranted. Do you have a sense of what's happening with the Republicans? I mean, because it does not seem to be in their interest to oppose this. I mean, I gather they seem to think that they can take a $1.9 trillion bill, spend the next two years picking it apart, finding things that are politically unpopular, and trying to run against you all on those items. Does that, is that a strategy that concerns you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, a bill of this magnitude, some things are going to work and some things aren't going to work. But frankly, I think the Republicans are comforted in their policy of opposition because they believe the bill's going to pass. They think they're going to get the best of both worlds. They'll be able to pander to their hardline, don't do anything, don't wear masks base, and at the same time not incur the wrath of those folks who see this as so necessary. So Republican opposition is somewhat of a sort of a free opposition stroke. Bipartisanship in Washington may be a thing of the past. Are you viewing these next two years as, I am the majority leader and we have to get done whatever we can get done in the next two years and we cannot rely on the Republicans for progress and we cannot let them intimidate us into not acting? 500,000 Americans have died. Thousands and thousands of businesses have either shut down or gone away. People are in food lines that never expected in their wildest dreams that they would need to be in a food line. I, I don't want this to sound corny, but I think the best politics for us for 22 or for 24 or 26 or whatever, uh, and I think Biden is in the same boat, is to do the right thing.